The enemy has a vote. He's smart. He's training. He's coming for us. So we need to prepare like he is. Keeping training adds to the overall lethality of the Marine Corps because it's investing time and resources into those small unit leaders, those sergeants, those corporals, you know, using the resources of Sesame's gear, the jungle, the combat town, and putting them in an environment where they're uncomfortable, uh, training they haven't received. And we're putting them in a kinetic environment that forces them to lead, to step up, to think about all the contingencies that go into combat. And I think that will produce the dividends of what we want to see in the, the next generational leaders. We put 55 Marines through a, a grinder of decisions. The uncertainty, chaos, the fog of war was evident constantly. It's psychological, and it's physical, and it's emotional. And I think that is setting us up probably more so for a peer-on-peer -peer threat. What makes a Marine Corps fire team lethal is that confident, trained, aggressive corporal. He's got three other Marines. You give him a task and a purpose. You give him the ability to achieve the end state, and I think uh, will surprise you. He's properly trained, he's been prepared for combat. You put the decision making in their court, and I think you'll, you'll see what the NCO Corps is really made of.